to Crazy Days Crew. Today is September 9th and you are watching On This Day in History. Besides being soft and cuddly, teddy bears are often a sign of unconditional love. They also provide safety and comfort for their smaller companion. Many of us can recall when we had our own teddy bears to keep us company. Many adults still have their old teddy bears because of the fond memories they hold together. Today we celebrate the tiny protectors of our childhood with the history of how they came to be. On this day in history. Did you know that the teddy bear was invented in honor of President Theodore Roosevelt? It's true! It started when he had gone on a hunting trip with Mississippi's Governor Andrew H. Longingo in November 14, 1902. Unlike the rest of the group, however, Theodore Roosevelt did not manage to locate a single bear. His group decided to help out. Roosevelt's assistants, led by Holt Collier, born a slave, as former Confederate cavalryman, cornered and tied a black bear cub to a willow tree. They even brought Roosevelt over and suggested he shoot it. Rather than taking the offer, however, he saw this as very unsportsmanlike and refused to shoot the defenseless cub. The news of this event quickly spread throughout the papers. Clifford Berryman, a political cartoonist, read the article and decided to lightheartedly satirize the president's refusal to shoot the bear. Berryman's cartoon appeared in the Washington Post on November 16, 1902. Morris Mitchum, a Brooklyn candy shop owner, saw the cartoon and had an idea. He and his wife Rose also made stuffed animals and Mitchum decided to create a stuffed toy bear and decided to dedicate it to the president who refused to shoot a bear. With permission to use his name, he called these stuffed bears teddy bears in honor of Roosevelt. They then mass-produced the bears, quickly becoming a very popular doll. To this day, teddy bears are still being sold and loved worldwide, and it's all thanks to Theodore Roosevelt. In 2015, Queen Elizabeth II became Great Britain's longest-running monarch at 63 years and 7 months, beating the previous record set by her great-great-grandmother, Queen Victoria. In 1543, Mary Stuart was crowned Queen of Scots in central Scottish town of Stirling at nine months old. Magic beliefs are first used in New York City in 1904. In 1908, Orville Wright makes a record airplane flight, lasting one hour and 12 minutes. The first bug was discovered in a computer program in 1945 by Grace Hopper. A moth had to be removed. In 1956, Elvis Presley appears on The Ed Sullivan Show for the first time. Every year from September 1st to September 9th, the United Family is raising funds for children's hospitals. Special teddy bears will be sold in the floral department of United Supermarkets, and two dogs of each purchase will go to a local children's hospital. After the Titanic sank in 1912, the German toy company Steiff created 500 teddy bears to honor the victims. The morning bears were black with red-rimmed eyes to show their, their sympathy. They now sell for around $20,000 or more in auctions. A Canadian soldier bought a black bear cub from a hunter during World War I. The animal became a pet and a mascot for his troop. The bear, named Winnipeg, later was given to the London Zoological Gardens, where Christopher Robin Milne, the son of A.A. A. Milne, the author of Winnie the Pooh, took such a special liking to her that he named his teddy bear after her. What do an aggressive teddy bear and this joke have in common? The punch is pretty weak. What time is it when three bears are chasing after you? Three after one. What do you call a teddy bear at the North Pole? Lost. What's the difference in a teddy and a turkey? If you don't know, you have no business cooking any holiday dinners. What's small, cuddly, and bright purple? A koala holding his breath. You should probably help it. What do Alexander the Great and Winnie the Pooh have in common? 
They both have the as their middle name. Thanks for watching on this day in history. We're going to see you next time on Crazy Days Crew. Oh, and I'm going to go celebrate Teddy Bear Day with my teddy bear. Him again. I'm going to go find my teddy bear first. Oh, bye.